Pandora, the world of Avatar is one of the most popular lands that Disney's ever created. From its amazing scenery to its two awesome attractions, Pandora has a lot to offer here at Animal Kingdom. Personally, I think that Pandora is the most beautiful land in any Disney park, and it is one of my favorites. And today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be telling you the backstory of Pandora, of this land. I'm going to be telling you some cool secrets. I'm going to take a tour around here. I did something similar with Harambe here in Animal Kingdom. I told you the backstory, uh, secrets and tour of that land. And I'm doing it right here in Pandora because it does have a pretty cool backstory. And there's a lot of little secrets that you might not know about. All right, let's get things started. Way back when, before uh, Pandora, the world of Avatar opened, uh, when Animal Kingdom opened in 1998, this land was known as Camp Mini Mickey. Originally, it was supposed to be a land called Beastly Kingdom, and it was supposed to be a land all about mythical creatures. There was going to be a dragon type roller coaster, a uh, unicorn maze. Um, unfortunately, Beastly Kingdom never happened, and Camp Mini Mickey stayed in this exact spot for many, many years until 2011 when Disney announced that they were going to be building a land in Animal Kingdom based on the world of Avatar. And after a long anticipated wait and $400 million later in 2017, Pandora, the world of Avatar, opened here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. And just as Disney Imagineers always do, they made sure to add a backstory to this land. So that's what I'm going to tell you now, the backstory to Pandora. So if you guys have seen the movie Avatar, you will know that the bad guys in the movie are this group known as the RDA. And basically the RDA had came into Pandora where the native Navi lived and they were mining resources and causing destruction to their home. Seems like the RDA might have taken some notes from the colonizers of our own world. And basically that's how the movie goes. And uh, eventually uh, the RDA is defeated. Um, and this land right here, Pandora, this takes place about 100 years after that big conflict on Pandora. And now humans are being welcomed into Pandora through a group called ACE, Alpha Centauri Expeditions. It's kind of basically like a tourist group. And the specific part of Pandora that we are at is called the Valley of Moara. And all throughout the land, you will see the ACE logo. Even though the RDA has left the Valley of Moara, if we look closely, we can still see some remnants of them. And all the remnants of the RDA, like this fence right here, have been rusted over and are being taken over by nature. And that's pretty much the backstory of Pandora, the world of Avatar. Now, let's take a tour around and we're going to see some cool secrets that I'm going to show you guys. We're going to have an in-depth look at this land. First things first, as we cross over this bridge right here, this is a bridge made by the RDA. Like I said, we can see the fence, it's rusting over. We can also, if we look up, we can see some security cameras right up here that the RDA had placed here that have been rusted over. And then we cross this way and we make it into the Valley of Moara. And we can see a cool welcome sign to the Valley of Moara that the Alpha Centauri Expedition has provided. And it uh, provides us with the map and it says some visitor information and a little bit about the Navi people. And as soon as we cross into Pandora, we can see all of the native plant life and we can hear all of the sounds. Pandora is home to some crazy looking plant life and apparently this plant right here has been damaged but guests are invited to come and touch it and it's supposed to uh, heal it but right now we're not allowed to touch it because of the current situation. And like I said, the RDA was here in the Valley of Moara and you can see remnants of them. If we look right here, we can see a helicopter that has been crashed and now it's been taken over by the vegetation and flowers and grass is growing on it. But it seems like everywhere we look, we will see this logo for Ace. And while walking around Pandora, it might be a good idea to look down at the ground because you could see some cool things. Like right over here, we see some type of animal footprint and this building right here is currently the bathrooms but clearly it was an old rda structure and of course it's been abandoned for about 100 years but we still see some of the remnants of the rda we can see how there was stairs over here and now they've just been pretty much completely destroyed either from the conflict or just through nature and pretty much every structure that you find here in the valley you will see the remnants of the RDA. Pretty much everything here was controlled by the RDA, it seems like. And now the Navi have taken back over and nature's taken back over. And as we cross down this path all the way this way, 
we approach the floating mountains and this is like the main uh, section of the Valley of Mawara. This is where a lot of things are happening. There's two different attractions. There's Flight of Passage down this way and then the Navi River Journey which is over here. And then once in a while you will find some people over here playing drums. They do a little drum performance over here. And if you look at the seats, it seems like some kind of creature has been scratching at these seats some kind of very large powerful creature and if we listen closely we can hear some sorts of creatures in the mountains over here kind of drawing us closer and as we make our way past this drums over here we come over here and we find this native navi structure and it kind of symbolizes like this part right here is native navi and this is where their people are and of course this is where you enter to ride the attraction Navi River Journey. And Navi River Journey is an awesome boat ride where you can go into the actual Pandora bioluminescent forest at night and you will go and see the most amazing animatronic creature Disney's ever created with the Shaman of Songs. <laughs> And just outside the entrance to Navi River Journey, if we look down at the ground, we can actually see some Navi footprints. I guess they only have four toes and their foot, it's not too much bigger than mine. But according to a cast member, this area right here is kind of like the watering hole. So if we look down, we will see some footprints of some creatures called dire horses, these things right here. And it's kind of leading it to the watering hole right over here. And of course, we get some amazing views of the floating mountains right over here with some waterfalls. But a cool little thing, not all the waterfalls that you see in the mountains are actual waterfalls. So check it out. If we look way up here, this thing right here, that is not a waterfall. That's a wheel. Pretended to look like a waterfall uh, through forced perspective and through illusion. But it honestly looks very lifelike. Now when you're in Bandora, it's a good idea to take your time and walk around and look at all the sites. And you can find a bunch of little spots like over here where not a lot of people go where you can come and just relax. Pretty much all those spots are right here in the middle of Pandora. This section right over here. And then as we just make our way down this pathway, we come upon the most popular attraction here in Pandora. Avatar Flight of Passage where you can hop on the back of a Banshee and do a Navi Rite of Passage. And actually in the queue of Flight of Passage, you will get to see some of the most amazing views of Pandora and as well as some cool little secrets. So as we're walking through the queue over here for Flight of Passage, it seems like this building, uh, it used to be some sort of RDA building, but it also was kind of in a forest setting. We'll see in a little bit. And actually, as we're about to head into the cave, if we look up at the mountains, we will see some creatures up here. And these are called sting bats. So this area in here, the cave, it obviously seems like a native Navi uh, sort of cave. You can see that they have all kinds of paintings and different things on the walls. And we cross into the cave into obviously an old RDA For your style safety, building because check it out because clearly this right here is the RDA logo and a cool secret right here 8 16 54 that is actually James Cameron the creator of Avatar's birthday and it seems like the RDA either built this building into this kind of bioluminescent forest or throughout the past hundred years the bioluminescence has taken over the old RDA building. As we make our way out of the bioluminescent forest, we head into the Pandora Conservation Initiative Valley of Moara Laboratory. Now, this was probably used as some RDA thing in the past, but now it has been converted. And in here, you can actually see all kinds of cool little tidbits from the movies. There's things that are written on certain notepads in here that you can come check out. And then of course they have this huge animatronic in here. This is a real animatronic. 
inside some water. It's not fake, it's not a hologram, this is a real animatronic. And then we head this way towards our link chambers to experience the flight of passage. As we walk through the exit to Flight of Passage, we pass by three handprints. They say JC, JR, and JL. They stand for James Cameron, uh, John Lando, who are both part of the creation of the movie Avatar, and then JR, Joe Rohde, who was the creative director of Pandora, the world of Avatar. As we make our exit out of Flight of Passage, we will come upon this shop right here this is called wind traders this was also a old rda building and actually just outside of the shop if we look down we see rda manhole you can see that the navi have painted over some of this building that the rda once had and also they have added their own touches of navi architecture to this building but we can still see that this was part of the rda and then to the left, just outside of Wind Traders, this right here, this building is called Satuli Canteen. I'll get to that in one second. But this right here, there's a little stand called Pangu Pangu Refreshments. You can come over here and get some really cool drinks. But check this out. This right here, but this right here is what is known as a mech suit. This right here is kind of what the RDA would have used to fight the Navi. And the actual refreshment stand is an old RDA uh, something something for the RDA uh, you can tell kind of in the bottom over here but they have redone it to be more native Navi and then this building right here like I mentioned is known as the Tuli Canteen where you can come and grab some food inspired by Avatar but actually before this was the Tuli Canteen this was the RDA mess hall so this is basically where all of the RDA soldiers would come and eat they didn't have this part but if you can look back over here this is RDA style and this is where they would have gone to uh, basically eat every day. And actually inside the Satuli Canteen, we can see all kinds of cool pictures. Like here, we see some people hanging out with some Navi. Right here by Pangu Pangu Refreshments and that mech suit. We can see Navi kind of, it looks like they're carving out of that one plant we saw at the beginning. Looks like they might be eating it or something. And here are some of the creatives. That's Joe Rohde right there. And they are marking the ceremonial first dig to when they were gonna build this land. But this right here is the area where the soldiers would have picked up their food. There's a picture right over here with some of them, I'll show you. This was the mess hall before they turned it in to this restaurant. And here we look, we can see the soldiers picking up their food. They would have been picking up their food right over here. And if we look inside, it's a cool blend of the RDA style mixed with the Navi. You see the RDA kind of on the walls and the Navi the architecture sprinkled throughout. But guys, that will pretty much conclude the tour, the backstory, and the secrets of Pandora, the world of Avatar. Hopefully you guys enjoy this in-depth look at this awesome land. I like making these videos. Hopefully you guys like them too. If you did, you can support me by just leaving the video a like down below. And if you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, follow my social medias, and let me know if there's a certain land or a certain place at a park that you want me to cover the in-depth look at, backstory, secrets. But yeah, guys, it's been a fun video. Thank you all very much for watching. It's kind of fun to do the impossible, and I'll catch you on the next video.